Factory has launched, and here at Treyarch, we couldn't be more excited about the millions of players around the world enjoying it every day. This is going to be an awesome season of DLC content, and it all begins with Awakening, and you won't want to miss it. Four new, awesome multiplayer maps and one mind-blowing zombies experience. Let's take a closer look at what the team's working on. Awakening DLC for the multiplayer fans is going to be all about the maps. Every map is going to feel distinct and unique from the other maps. Every map is going to have a very purposeful and intentional design to structure around the movement system and also get players into those very satisfying kind of classic engagements, head-to-head, -head, boots on the ground, cover-based combat. Gauntlet is a map that is set in a military training facility in which each of the three paths in the map is a very different environment. One of them is a jungle environment, one of them is an arctic snowy climate, the other one is a rainy urban city scene. And for us it was really all about playing up this core philosophy that we have about the three lane structure of our maps. And we just wanted to kind of go over the top on that front with both visuals and gameplay. Splash is just a playful, really vibrant map. It's set in an abandoned water theme park. There are a lot of twisty, windy, enclosed water slides connecting the paths from one to the other. It's a map that really is designed for the fluidity and the flow of going from one path to the other and the excitement of fighting through the enclosed water slides. That's just something that's a new twist. You know, we haven't done something like that before and, and it was a fun opportunity for us to build that kind of gameplay into a map that's themed around a water park. But I mean, it also has a lot of opportunities for underwater combat. We wanted to really play up that that underwater swimming component of the game. Rise is set in snowy Zurich. It's on a construction facility. It really feels the most classic Call of Duty multiplayer of all the maps in the pack. It's really heavily focused on cover-to-cover -cover combat. It has a lot of variety in its lane structure. One lane is very long, has a lot of cat and mouse gameplay to it, some wall running opportunities. The middle lane really pushes players into an intense choke point, kind of an arena where all the paths converge. And then the final path has a lot of underwater opportunities. I think the Rise is probably one of our most competitive maps in the set. And I think that uh, it's going to be exciting to see. Uh, hopefully it gets adopted into the esports season. I think that it's a lot of fun. Players are going to love it. The map that I'm most excited about in Awakening is Skyjacked for sure, which is a reimagining of, of the map Hijack from Black Ops 2. It's fast, it's frenetic, it's chaotic. It's a different take, a different twist on the original because of all the core movement opportunities that we've built into the map. It's just very exciting. It was a fun map for us to bring back. In this chapter of our zombie story, we'll be introducing episode four, the Eisendracht. This is the first chapter in an epic time-traversing zombies odyssey that will unfold over the course of Black Ops 3's four DLC packs in 2016. I'm a sucker for medieval castles. <laughs> That's where we're going in the Eisendracht. We've got this wonderful ancient castle that all the kind of evil forces and all the kind of mind-bending stuff that we do in our zombie storyline is all kind of infested in this one location. The castle was built upon an ancient site where many dark atrocities have occurred over the centuries. The site contains massive deposits of the recently discovered Element 115. This allows us to kind of play with other narrative and thematic elements uh, in a setting which is uh, a personal favorite of mine. On the Awakening DLC, we'll also be introducing four new Mega Gumballs. This chapter is very much about introducing new concepts, but then also bringing it to a conclusion. We're incredibly excited to answer a lot of the questions the community has, bring some sort of resolution to a lot of the torment that we put our fans into, and then also maybe introduce some new concepts to have them puzzling out into the future. So as you can see, it's on next year. Clear your calendars, because Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Awakening is available on February 2nd, first on PlayStation 4. Get the season pass now. Four DLC packs, one great price.